Good morning, it's Chad. Uh, I am in Ruidoso Downs, New Mexico. And as you can see, I'm right here at the Billy the Kid Museum. And it's closed, I, I, I don't know, maybe COVID, I don't know. But uh, I plan on staying here in the area for two or three days. And instead of doing the normal Ruidoso type of thing, cloud prop, skiing and all the fun stuff, I'm here to explore the Lincoln County Wars. So it should be good. Stick around. Alright, found our first stop here. Um, I wanted to begin in the Billy the Kid Museum, hopefully get some ideas of where to go and what to look for. So that was closed, so I headed toward I'm heading toward Lincoln. I figured that'd be the first place to go. And I came across this historical marker. This is John Tunstall's murder site right here. This is well, it's not what started the Lincoln County War, but it's what set it into play. Um, it went on for like three or four years. But So, the Young Guns movie actually depicts it pretty well. And you can see, like, down in the bo bottom here, this had to be Tungstall's place. And uh, I can just imagine, you know, the, the posse pulling up and all the regulators scampering down the hill on their horses, getting away. and. Tungstall rides up here to meet him and, uh, and shoot him right in the head. It's pretty cool. All right, let's head to Lincoln. Now, this is pretty cool, too. San Patricio. eighteen seventy eight a posse ransacked the village looking for the regulators and Billy the Kid. But this valley it, it, it's you got mountains on both sides and it's a huge valley. I, I think it's called Hondo Valley. Uh Hondo is Hondo in Spanish for deep. So it's a deep valley. But from Tungstall's place to Lincoln and we're not even close to Lincoln yet, that it took them a while. It was a easily a day ride to get there and there's several museums around here but they're all closed so we're just going to have to find out the history with these markers and hopefully Lincoln itself will be open we'll see but it's pretty cool I mean I can just imagine what it used to look like hmm. all right back on the road all right I'm never going to make it to Lincoln. I keep stopping at these things, but these are so neat. Uh, you can pause it and read it. But and also, pretty much, I was wrong about how far it is. It's only 10 miles from here up to Lincoln. And Lincoln, it, it's like a state monument now that uh, it's hardly been changed at all you know, over the years. But all this, it, I mean, the Lincoln County War. You think about Billy the Kid. I mean, he was obviously the most famous of them all but it started because of uh, John Tunstall an Englishman came here and started well Murphy and uh, James Dolan monopolized this whole area and they had suspected lucrative dealings with the government on their cattle and the local ranchers like John Chisholm and uh, they all teamed up together to to go against them and uh, that's what led to everything breaking down and then uh, Tunstall opened up a, his own store in town and that set it off so Murphy and Dolan hired a, a group of kids to go out and a posse to go kill him and that set it in roll but yeah you got Pat Garrett, Kit Carson, Chisholm, Black Jack Pershing I mean this is Old West history right here. Oh, and Rutherford, Rutherford B. Hayes <laughs> said it 
this single road through Lincoln was the most dangerous road in all of America. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, let's head to Lincoln. All right, I don't know how well you can hear me. It's getting a little bit windy, but <clears throat> coming from Rui Doso, you turn on this road, 380, which is the uh, Bonito River Valley. The other valley was the Hondo Valley. But I'm sitting here thinking, it's 10 miles to Lincoln. I probably came 10 miles or so up from Tonksville's place. But the only thing that's separating them is this mountains right here. So they might have had passes through the mountains back then. Especially being on horseback instead of coming all the way down the valley and back up this way. I don't know. I'm just thinking to myself. I'm loving this. Oh, we uh, have to come back to here. Definitely. Let's see what this is. I think we're already in Lincoln. Wow. It was uh, Las Placitas del Rio Bonito. And then they changed it to Lincoln County. Or to Lincoln. This is it, I guess. Let's see if I can find somewhere to park. And we'll walk through it. I don't know, I'm guessing maybe this is, you got old historical stuff mixed in with newer. Just have to look for signs. Maybe these are little adobe houses, I, I don't know. Colonel Dudley's camping place. So that's, this is where they camped when uh, Murphy called for the army from Fort Stanton to come down. I don't know what that is over there. says it's open let's go in This is cool. The shooting of Charlie Crawford. Around 25 tons of swing men occupied this structure, including Doc Scurlock and Charlie Bowdry, the two regulators. And on July 16th, Dolan ordered five men to take up position among the hills south of town. Okay, this this is a little bit different than the Young Guns movie. According to this, uh, a bullet fired by Francisco Herrera from the store roof 
caught Charlie Crawford in the stomach the morning. Mm-hmm. He lay up on the side of the hill until he died. But in the movie, Billy says, Hey, Sheriff, is that Charlie Crawford with you? Charlie Crawford isn't with you anymore. He's just talking about the Adobe stuff. Tell you what, the wind is just whipping down this valley right here. It's like a wind tunnel. So this is sort of what it is. It's the old town blended in with the new. See what's in here. Just ought to give us some insight. It says it's open. I don't know if they'll allow me to go. I guess I better shut it off just in case that part of the building looks old. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing well.
Yeah, that's where we are. And uh, the tunstall is maybe 150 yards down on this side of the road. Okay. Uh, you can walk or drive, you can park out front if you like. She's going to be closing in about 20 minutes for lunch, and it'll be closed for three hours. Okay, so I might so, want to run up there right quick. Then. Yeah, you could go now or you can go ahead and finish this and then go down there. Because uh, she'll, if you're there, she'll stay open a little bit later. Okay, I won't keep her long. I'll just hurry up there. LG Murphy. And this is what did it, the Santa Fe Green. All right, it was too quiet in there, and I'm embarrassed to talk <laughs> around people. So I want to. She's going to close John Thompson's store in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to go up there right quick. And got a map of other places we can walk into. I hope the way gets to my bike. having a bad hair day. <laughs> the Dolan House Bed and Breakfast. They, they've turned all these historical homes, like Dolan was Murphy's partner and, and wealthy. That's cool. They turned them into bed and breakfast. Hi there! 
Hello, how are you, are you ma'am? the one that Isaac called me about? Yes, I guess oh, okay, so. Good, so good. Good I, to go. I didn't want to keep you busy. <laughs> Is it okay if I do this? It's fine, yes. Yeah. It's crazy. Put it on the social media for us. <laughs> boxes and packaging and stuff like right. that in case we ever seen these things. So that's why we have authentic merchandise, but it's, it's more early than this one. Yeah. 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 Again, I got to talk quiet, but this is cool. This was John Tunksell's store. This is pretty much what got him killed. it would break the monopoly, you know, so that's why the locals kind of sided with Tunstall, but in reality, Tunstall kind of had plans to basically do the exact same thing Murphy and his group have been doing. His letters home to England, he said he was going to get 50 cents of every dollar made in the time. So his plans were big. He was very ambitious, uh -huh. but he just didn't live long enough for yeah. people to realize what his plans were. So Dolan got this store after he Tunstall? Did. Well, uh, yeah, he, he respected member of the community and you know important in state politics and stuff and it's just amazing how it all turned around for him because he was kind of a stinker too. <laughs> yeah, <it sounds>. <laughs> <laughs> lady in Thompson's store was pretty cool, knowledgeable. Uh, it makes a little better sense than Young Guns, <laughs> but uh, pretty much what Murphy done was Dolan was Murphy's protege, and at the time the stores were just, nobody had money, so it was based on bartering, you know, they trade goods for other goods, and uh, 
what Murphy would do is keep a ledger of how much they owed him and over a period of time he would say hey time to pay up and call Sheriff Brady to go put them off their land and then take their land and cattle so I don't think this is the one the courthouse owner sees that two-story one where he escaped from. Alright, nobody's in here. Saloon, County Courthouse, and Priest House. <laughs> Jack of all trades, huh? The Chapman Saloon. Hanging gallows. Get on the bike and go look at some more stuff. This is where McSween home was. This is where they, they burn it down. When the posse came after the regulators would hold up there, they, there was a setup and they set fire to it. Wow. Check out those old Adobe Homes. I think that's the old courthouse right there where he escaped. Go check it out. Um, one thing that I found true in history books was uh, Lincoln didn't have a jail at the time, and uh, Sheriff Brady was wanting to get one, but they wouldn't find it, so they dug a pit and 
I think it was in like the third Young Guns movie or something like that, but they actually had a pit dug and it was so nasty with disease and everything else and plus everybody kept escaping, they finally got to jail. But this is the actual courthouse. And uh, William H. Bonney was the only person ever tried and convicted of any murder in the entire Lincoln County War. And uh, it was for shooting Brady. Mask up. So this was Murphy's home too. Well, ma'am, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well. You need to see my pass. Perfect, thank you. All right. Feel free to just walk around. Um, there's several rooms behind this wall here and then the staircase to go upstairs. Okay, thank you. So this was Murphy's office right here. Pat Garrett. The regulators. Death warrant for William Bonney. And they actually had really good handwriting. There's the bullet hole. That's where he shot Olinger when he escaped.
J.W. Bell died there, killed by Billy the Kid. Wow. This is where he was held when he escaped. That was the leg irons that he used. And there's Marshall Olinger that he shot on his escape. This is just too cool, man. This is history. The first jail. People moved out of Lincoln. It was just mob infested. And they started moving to Roswell and White Oaks. put down plywood to walk on to protect the original flooring. It's amazing. So All the sheriffs killed in the line of duty. Paper. Brady. Thank you, ma'am.
all right that was really cool i just wish it i would have been a little better on talking but i guess i'm gonna head back uh i want to find that blazer's meal where buckshot roberts and uh the regulators were killed and then i want to go find what that white oaks mining community so i think i gotta go through rui doso and uh carry zoso to get there so oh yeah i forgot about the cemetery they had it gated. I don't know if they allow anybody in there or not. I'm gonna pull over there and look. <laughs> 